lot of different types of people in this world, young and old, short and tall, but what I discovered is, when it comes to my topic, global warming, there are three types of people. People who know about this topic, people who don't, and people who know and just don't care. Until a few years ago, in third grade, I was a person who didn't know. One day, my third grade teacher gave us an assignment. It was um, an article, and then we had to answer some essay questions about it. I took the article, and I started reading it. I was very surprised. It was about global warming and its effects. Why was all of this happening? Why were humans doing this? And I wasn't sure, because a few days ago, I saw on the news that there was a dramatic increase in global warming. The next day, I looked outside. There was a raging snowstorm, and I couldn't believe the news. All this was happening, and global warming has the word warming in it. And why is it so cold outside? Well, what I found out is that global warming is causing these problems. As the Earth warms, the amount of rain or snow falling in the heaviest word 1% has increased to nearly 20% on average in the United States. Even worse, the Northeast has seen a 74% increase in the amount of rain or snow falling in the heaviest storm. Another dangerous effect is flash floods. These floods come into the streets and they can happen near a body of water or anywhere actually. The water floods into the streets and traps the people that are inside the homes into not coming out until the flood is over. These storms are hazardous because they can happen without warning and immediately flood streets, houses, nearly everything. The earth nurtures us and feeds us, but yet we repay it by destroying it. This is not right, but there's still hope. Many organizations have been started to make the word world greener and cleaner. More people are becoming aware. Some of the organizations that have made the biggest impact in, are the Union of Concerned Scientists, the IPCC, the United States Environmental Protection Agency, and Job One for Humanity. All around the world, there's still some hope.